Full, full house. house. I know Jesus. that one. Why didn't you say full house? You couldn't say that? The Foo Fighters were in full house? You know who else dunks? I not don't know. Foo Fighters. You totally oh, you got them in the wrong order. Yeah. You're yeah, you know who just got dunked on by God? Oh, fuck. <laughs> the Foo Fighters drummer. Willie Nelson. Oh, Taylor Hawkins. Drummer of the Foo Fighters dead at 50. I didn't know he was 50. Jesus. I didn't know who the Foo Fighters were. Really? There Never heard of them? my hero. I know that song. How about The Pretender? Yes. Hey, at least they had like a hit many years after that. Was he in the movie? He yeah, was. Yeah, he was in that Studio 666 He got movie. killed. Did you? Yeah, he got killed. In the movie? Yes, that's how he died. Oh, shit. No, actually, he died of many, many drugs in his system. The only point I wanted to make about this with the Foo Fighters, uh, which I, I actually like Taylor Hawkins. He seems like a cool guy, and um, it's a real shame that he died. Apparently, he was a drug addict on some level, because what, what I find fascinating is he died in... Uh, it, was a, it was Bogota, Colombia, right? Yeah, as Doug said... Or Doug. As Doc says, drugs... What I think is fascinating is whenever someone dies in the U.S. of drugs, it takes like months to get back the toxicology reports. But somehow in Bogota, Colombia, hmm. they were able to get it within days. And they were like, yeah, the dude had like 15 drugs in his system. Why was he in Bogota, or 10 Columbia? substances? They were doing a, um, a concert. Oh. Yeah, they were there for a concert. So he died like in the middle of a tour? Yeah, he was in his hotel room. Oof. They were at the Festival Estoro Picnic in Bogota, Colombia, which sounds pretty awesome. Ten substances were in his system. Antidepressants, benzodiazepines, and opioids. Fentanyl, man. It's a hell of a drug. Jesus. Probably. So, yeah, it's kind of a shame. So, everybody's very sad about this. Tom Morello... Miley Cyrus, Perry Farrell. And he's the drummer? Yeah, he's the drummer, but he also used to sing and do things like that. We have to uh, reach out to a drummer we know to maybe he could be a replacement. He cannot. Oh, okay. No. It, it is kind of funny. He did re, uh, r rise to prominence as he was the touring drummer for Alanis Morissette during the Jagged Little Pill era. Isn't she like a wimpy little pop singer? No, that first album she did, Jagged Little Pill, was very angry. When I go down on you in a theater. You don't remember that what's song? A, what's a famous Alanis Morissette song? I just sang it. You you ought to know. Oh, uh, okay. That, that one. Kind of yeah, okay, that one. She's yeah, angry. Yeah. She's that like, one. Okay. Does she go down on you in a theater? Wait, she says that? Yeah. Oh. She's talking about Dave Coulier, too. <laughs> I don't know who that is. The dude from the Bob Saget show. With, nope. the, with the Olsen twins? Absolutely step not. Step by... No. House of Blues. Step by step. John Goodman? No. You don't know what show Bob Wait, Saget Wait, John Belushi. Me. J John Belushi. Bob me. Saget. John Belushi. Bob Saget. He was in Blues... Not Blues Clues. No. Oh, my... Blues Brothers. No! Shit. How do you... It, oh, my God. Why are we so retarded? <laughs> what is wrong with us? Oh, boy. How do you not know a Bob Saget, Dave Coulier, John Stamos, the Olsen twins? They're the only thing the Olsen twins are famous for. Yeah, I know that show. Full, Full House. House. I know Jesus. that one. Jesus, why didn't you say Full House? You couldn't say that? The Foo Fighters were in Full House? Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> No. Dave Coulier was in Full House. Who is a member of Foo Fighters. No! <laughs> no! You were wrong! Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know who was in Full House? LeBron James. No, that is nope. not the story, but Elliot Page may be, a, may be in Full yeah, House. Yeah, no, he... he well, Elliot Page is a trans Jenga. 